Mr. Kelso? That's what the sign on the door says, miss. There's no need to come into the office, Ms. Lichtman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. Well, before I go ahead and pull off this, I'll go ahead and introduce what's going on, guys. I'm Jake the Offensive Gamer, and this is L.A. Noir Part 20, and, uh, looks like we're playing as somebody new here. I don't accept this. What settlement. do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean, you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay. Let me get the case file. So, I guess I just... <laughs> There's got to be more in these files. I'm confused. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to press on. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure. What the fuck? I fucking I don't know. Something pick just, just do something. Oh fuck! I didn't realize I could turn the page. Now I feel like an asshole. Sounds like your friend took a hell of a fall. Sorry for your loss. Now what? Now can I press this? Or is that all there is? I'm going to go with that's all. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. You want me to reopen this case based on your woman's intuition? That isn't going to happen. Take the money. I've already told you I do not want the money. There's something wrong with that house. You and Buckwalter weren't married? No. Then how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. There a lot of vagaries here. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. You really want to know? Yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island. Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Do you see the irony in that, Mr. Kelso? We spent four years there. So the roof collapsed. Accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. I've told you what I know, Mr. Kelso. What are you going to do about it? All right, Miss Lichtman. One final question. Yes. What's your address? Is that usual? Is there anything usual about this case, Miss Lichtman? The address is on the letter, Mr. Kelso. The address? But not the phone number.
Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack. Upstairs. Ugh. Come on, I'll walk you up. She's not even, like, attractive. Like, honestly, uh, like, she's not. I don't understand why, like, Cole Phelps is willing to ruin his family for that, and this Keep guy coming. is willing to risk his job. Well, maybe not risk his job, but still, like... He's asking a client for her phone number. Clearly with romantic, uh, intentions. It's just like... She... She's like a five. You drove me up to I know it's the 40s, but still. Just, it's I don't 1947, know. not 1927. Of course a girl can ask a fella out. Mr. Benson? You wanted to see me? Ah, oh, yes, Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I notice Elsa Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lickman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lickman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of it. She's the beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Well, Ms. Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that She's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. Deal with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Thanks, Mr. Benson. That guy sucks at keeping his cool. Like, holy Thanks. shit. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, take a look. I, I'm not- well, no, I guess I can't. Alright, I thought I was gonna- I could possibly change suits with him, but I wasn't sure, but there you go. Not happening. You know something I just realized is that there's nobody to talk to, so there's really not much of a point in driving. But we'll- we'll see. You never know. Maybe he talks to himself. Hey! Bad driving! I'm, well, wait, I'm not a police officer, but still. The fuck? Alright, fuck this, I'm gonna skip. I guess I can't. Skip? I have to get out of the car and then hold Y to skip. Alright. I don't understand that. I don't get why I can't just skip immediately, but whatever. Hey, it's this place. I think Cole Phelps had something to do with this area before. Bulldozing and starting again. And it's that same card, I think, that uh, Phelps looked at. Leland Monroe. The man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. I refer to him as the man with no eyes. I mean, seriously, holy shit, his eyebrows are huge. It's not even the hair, it's just that part of his face. It's enlarged. That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. I think that's it. You just can't be walking around down here. I'm Jack Kelso, from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter, and- You deaf? Do I have to beat on you? 
Looks like you do. Oh. This took a bad turn. I wasn't expecting this. I came to see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down to the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. Guy's a twat. Wait, can I get my hat? I want, I want my hat. Go get your hat, uh, Jack. There we go. He has a little tilt to the side right there. This car's got a decent engine, it, se it seems like. The place falls down Good acceleration. What gives here? Yeah, it's very, um, suspicious. Nothing? Alright. I figured that would be kind of like, uh, from the last case where we saw the, the de deteriorated cement. Well, there's got to be something here. But oh. Nope, nothing. Up. Oh. Let's try to piece this together. Never get into fights Keystone the Films. Keystone Films. Who gets their lumber from a film studio? Wow, this is rather suspicious. Son of a bitch. Like, holy fuck. Somebody is literally trying to kill me. Oh, shit. Holy tits. On Jack. Oh, fuck. Okay, I thought that he was way closer than he actually was. Heh. <laughs> Eat a dick. Excuse me. Guess we'll go have to make a phone call here. But yeah, things are um, looking more and more suspicious. Your walking should be revoked. Oh, my <laughs> I just have my gun out, just in the middle of a crowd. Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is 658 North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? No, thank you, ma'am. That price is outrageous. All right, so Keystone Films is our next destination. Oh, I can go now. Thank you, traffic light. Even though I'm going the opposite way. Uh, it is a green light for me, and it's red for you. No, that guy- that was li that guy- that was that guy's fault. If he had hit me, it would have been his fault. Please, damn it! E Your fault. I'm in a rush! <laughs> I gotta say, though, um... Like, I'm curious at the end of the case, like, there's all, I, it never, I've never shown it in the playthrough, but, but there's always, like, at the very end, they'll give you, like, a star rating on how well you did in the case, and they'll say how much money, um, it cost, or, cost it isn't a word, but, uh, how much money it costs to repair the car, uh, that you may have damaged, and the city costs, and all this different stuff, 
But, like, that seems like only something that would be available um, to be reported as a police officer because, you know, like, it's being taken out of your pay, essentially, uh, by the police department to repair these things. But I'm not, you know, federal... I'm not working for a federal, uh, you know, office. I'm, I'm working for an insurance company. Motherfucker. Control your car. Yeah, seriously. I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. At a housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there, had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. You can't eat coffee. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. Well, oh. Once again, you can't really eat coffee, so... I don't know why you're saying you're hungry. Okay, I didn't think so. I thought that that film canister I might be able to look through, but evidently not. This one I can, though. Let's see what the rich and powerful have to say for themselves. The real should be nearby. Is that a newspaper? No, I guess not. All right, whatever. What am I looking for? Oh, a film reel, obviously. But where is it? I'm going to hold off on this. Because I know for a fact there's other clues, but I don't think they're in this uh, building. I think they're somewhere else. I just am not sure where. But I remember this, this case, and I remember there being quite a few things in this area. I just don't know where they are. Come on now. The fuck? I don't know where it is. Where are these clues? Oh, here we are. That's one way to keep your costs down. Too bad it won't support a roof. All right, then let's take a look at what clues I have. Settlement letter, Buckwalter case fire, fi fire, file, slip of paper, demolition order, company memo, cement delivery receipt, broken wood, film canister, and inferior quality lumber. I'm about to take a look at the film, I believe. Is that it? Alright then. Oh, 
In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen joined forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GIs. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. He's vice president of the California Fire and Life. We're pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon, editor of the Times. Doctor. District Attorney Don Sandler and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Here, here. And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Leland? You cannot throw them up fast enough, Ray. And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now, that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds by the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean uh, our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise three billion dollars. I need to find a game well or a telephone. Okay. In a great day for the future so the next thing I need to do is uh, go to a game well, evidently. Is there anything else in here? I just want to be 100% sure that I've got... What? What was that? Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the Pointless. Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. Is that it? Vice President of the California Fire I want to be 100% sure. I don't want to miss anything. Ray Gordon, editor of the Times. Doctor. Nope. What do we got here? Looks like a pen. Gentlemen, ah, that's useless. To be in such okay. <clears throat> All right, then. Trying to make a phone call real quick. I'll do one more scope over that one area that I went to. Ooh, there's a newspaper there, actually. No? Never mind. Operator, can you put me through to police dispatch? Putting you through now. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buckwalter case? Mr. Benson, are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Lou Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and... What have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Auf Wiedersehen, Mr. Kelso. Thanks. 
I guess I can't do another scope around the place. Oh well. I'm sure that I didn't miss anything. Hopefully at least. What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risks. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help. He hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. Was he about to fuck her in the alleyway? What is that? Special of the day? That seems like what that was right there. Alright, well, let's go take a look at Elysian Fields. I think this one's actually decently far away. I could be wrong, let's take a look. Yeah, that's a pretty decent distance. I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh... skip to that location. Get out of the car, get back in the car. Ugh. Gross. with the flickering light. As curious. Hello? Are there any ghosts in here? What was that? God damn it. I keep on... There we are. Nice wiring job, fellas. Keep them in the dark. Seems pretty obvious these houses are built for nothing, really. There should be wiring in some sort of, you know... Not, not necessarily that there would be lighting, but there, you know, there's no wiring even. You would put that shit in at this point, I would think, you know? I, I'm not, like, an expert on, you know, how to, you know, structure a house, but I would think that... You would do that while it's still stripped before, you know, adding on any of the extra stuff. Good thing I'm not thirsty. And no plumbing whatsoever. It was that thing just glued on there? Like it's a fucking dollhouse.
Where was that flickering light? You lose something, Mac? I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Oh, shit. Fucking Jesus. I'm getting my ass kicked here. You know, if these guys were smart, they would, you know, team up on me. Jesus, he just punted his head. You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduced themselves. <laughs> what do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Yeah, I know a good place. We'll pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. Oh shit. Uh oh. Give me your car, motherfucker. Sorry, pal. Desperate times. Holy shit. See you later, motherfuckers. Monroe owns the city, owns the cops. I need to find Elsa. Oh, did I seriously get away that easily? Shit. I didn't think it would be that quick. No, oh, no, nope, never mind. Didn't get away. They're right behind me. Got a job. Can't you see what's happening? I ain't got time for this. You ain't got time. For none of this shit. Uh oh. These guys' cars are pretty fucking fast, I must say. Oh shit. Uh, oh, you want to play that game, do you? <laughs> Where are they? Is that the last of them? Just drive through these developments. Who gives a shit? Seems like they're all done. I don't think anybody's coming after me. How far is this fucking house? Holy AIDS. 
So I think Jack is starting to get an idea of exactly how fucked this uh, whole situation is. Pretty much everybody in power within the city is in on this whole development fund. And, uh... Yeah. Not such a good situation. The chief of police, the mayor, the leader of the housing developments, um... The owner of, uh, or not, I don't know if he's the owner, but, you know, the guy in charge at California Fire and Life, the insurance company, pretty much everybody that has any sort of hold on anything in the city is corrupt and they're working on this whole thing and they want you dead. Yeah, does not sound like a good situation. Are we almost there? Holy fuck. No, move. Alright, finally. Can I go a little bit faster? Still carrying that army 45, Cole. For God's sake, Cole! Call an ambulance! Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above. Covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. You know the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You want some roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Webs. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Phelps has fallen behind again. He's got his fire team's checking every cave. He's lost another flamethrower. He wants you to get over there and hurry them along. <laughs> Weapons Company. Sir. Sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us, Hogaboom. I want flamethrowers and BAR teams to clean it out. Begging your pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them We in are it. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. Get your team in place. We're moving out. Mount up! First fire team and flamethrowers, head in! Where's he going? Where's who going? The big cowboy. He's going in. Who gave that order? You did. 